Welcome to Introduction to Accounting 1. Let's get started. We want to first begin by defining what accounting is. Accounting is most frequently defined as the language of business. There are two words in this definition that we want to look at a little more carefully. The first being business. What is a business? A business can consist of a large international corporation, or it could consist of a single person lemonade stand, or it can consist of anything in between. What's important to take away here is that all businesses use accounting, and if you're going to be a business professional, you need to understand accounting, which is the language of business. The next word in the definition, accounting is the language of business, we want to take a closer look at language. Language suggests that a business would have something to communicate. For example, we have a business here that's trying to say, I had positive cash flows in spite of a sluggish economy. This business could also tell us that its tax bill for the current year is $179,000. In addition, this business could tell us, I make four different types of shoes. Flip-flops are the most profitable. All of these things that this business is telling us is communicated by accounting. Well, why do businesses need to communicate? Why is that information important? Another way of asking this question is, why does accounting exist? Accounting exists to help people to help people make decisions. So at this point, we may be thinking, what kinds of decisions can accounting help people make? Well, the answer to that question is, it depends. There are three basic types of accounting. The first type is tax, the second is managerial, and the third is financial. So let's take a closer look at each of these types of accounting and the types of decisions that are supported by each one. When most people think of accounting, they think of tax. When it's tax time, you think about going to see your CPA or your certified public accountant. In reality, tax is a small part of accounting and is not going to be the focus of this video series, but there are a couple of things that are important to note about tax accounting. The first being is tax accounting helps determine how much is owed to the government for taxes. So the decision that's supported by tax accounting is determining the amount of taxes owed. There are rules for tax accounting, and these rules are determined by the government. The next type of accounting we want to look at is managerial accounting. Managerial accounting is designed to help people inside the business make decisions. So we have our company here, Acme Fireworks, and Acme has a variety of employees inside, and they have some questions. How many firecrackers should we make? Or how much should we charge for the firecrackers? Both of these are questions that can be answered by managerial accounting. One of the coolest things about managerial accounting is that there are no rules. Managerial accounting is designed to meet the needs of the users. The next type of accounting that we want to discuss is financial accounting. Financial accounting is designed to help people outside of the business make decisions. The two main user groups of financial accounting are investors and creditors. Creditors are individuals or businesses that may loan money to the company. Investors are individuals or businesses that may actually own the company. There are other types of external users to the business. These include suppliers, customers, governments, and labor unions. Although financial accounting is designed primarily to help people outside the business make decisions, internal decision makers use financial accounting too. 
Financial accounting produces multi-purpose reports. What this means is that financial accounting prepares one set of financial statements, and those financial statements or financial reports are used by anyone interested in the financial reporting. Unlike managerial accounting, which is customized to meet the needs of the users, financial accounting is multi-purpose. Unlike managerial accounting, which has no rules, financial accounting has rules to follow. In the United States, the rules that we follow are referred to as GAAP. GAAP stands for Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. So now let's review. What have we covered? First of all, we've defined accounting as the language of business. It includes the people and processes that capture, summarize, and report information about a business. That information is designed to help people make decisions. There are three main types of accounting. These three, main ty these three types of accounting are tax, managerial, and lastly, financial accounting. So now let's practice. Our first question is, what are the three main areas of accounting? We already know those three areas of accounting are tax, managerial, and financial. So if we're giving a, given a multiple choice question, we look at our options with the idea already in mind of what that option should look like. So we look for the option that includes financial, managerial, and tax. And right away, we see that's option A. What area of accounting follows rules set by the government? Well, we know that both tax accounting and financial accounting follow rules, but the area of accounting that follows rules that are set by the government is tax accounting. So that would be option C. Next question. What area of accounting prepares multi-purpose reports? Well, I think we already know the answer to that one, and that would be financial accounting. Next question. Why does accounting exist? Well, if we think back to the discussion, we said that accounting exists to help people make decisions. So if we look at our options, we see ensure businesses are managed profitably. Well, that might be a goal of accounting to help businesses man be managed profitably. That is not why accounting exists. Help people make decisions. That's the answer that we're looking for. Give people jobs. While a lot of people are employed in accounting, that's not why accounting exists. And prepare tax returns. That is the purpose of tax accounting, but it it's not the purpose of accounting in total. So B is our best option with this question. Next question. What rules are followed in preparing financial accounting reports? If we think back to the discussion, generally accepted accounting principles. So looking at our options, the option that includes generally accepted accounting principles is option C. Next question. Well, this is going to be our last question of this video series, and that is, why is accounting cool? Well, accounting is cool for a lot of reasons, but most importantly for this series, people that understand accounting, understand business, and have the tools to make better and more informed decisions. So if you can make better and more informed decisions, you can be a better creditor, a better manager, a better investor. You can contribute more to the goals of the organization by understanding the language of business. So accounting is cool because accountants will rule the world.